Weed lines are where a lot of fish in the Midwest hang out also. Here's what a weed line looks like in site imaging. Ed, I've been using this site imaging con or units for oh, a couple years now. Where did that concept come from? How'd you come up with that? Uh, site imaging, Humberberg site imaging is really side scan sonar. Side scan sonar has been around for a long time, but it's been always used in the ocean to find very deep ocean wrecks and the units cost twenty, thirty, forty, fifty thousand uh, dollars We've taken that same technology, miniaturized it, and made it into an affordable package that the average angler can, can use. And it produces a uh, photo-like image of what the bottom really looks like. Uh, a tree looks like a tree, a rock looks like a rock, a car looks like a car if it's sunk down there. You can set it to look up to 240 feet out to the right of the boat, to the left of the boat, and it goes down, hits the bottom, comes back, and goes back up in the transducer. And anything it sees there, it's like going down and taking a Polaroid snapshot of the bottom. I mean, we could make a pass through this lake right here and cover almost a football field in width and pretty much see everything that's under or around the boat. And if we see something really exciting, we can freeze the screen, we can move the cursor over there, it might be 200 feet away, and we can examine that object. We can even mark a waypoint on that object, go right back to it, fish it. So with that cursor, if we're cruising along here and we see something over there, we can move the cursor over there, look at the thing. No kidding. All right, we actually have a zoom box too. So once you see it, you can actually zoom in, move it around without looking under a microscope, and then you can mark a waypoint right then there, and you can also take a snapshot of it on your uh, multimedia card. Even take videos on it if you want to. You can cover an, a lake in half the time. A lot of guys use it to scout around. They just look for areas, mark potential spot spots, then go back and uh, fish them. It just takes a, a lot of the hard work out of the, the job, of finding uh, structure and the fish.